are just grabbing a bite to eat before we leave. We are almost, we almost have to go. Are you filming me? Yeah, for the vlog. We almost have to go through security. Brian, do you want to introduce yourself? I am Ryan. This is Tony's boyfriend, and this is Tony. I'm just sitting here with my mom, and we're going to go through security soon. Tony and I are on our way to Greece. Eight hours and 25 minutes left. We have these really cool TVs, they're like touch screen. Hopefully we're gonna fall asleep because it's tired. Hey guys, so surprise, I'm in Greece and I really wanted this video to start off on a good note. I'm sorry, I'm just really emotional. It's been really an emotional week for me. I ended up booking a last minute trip to Greece with my sister. Um, the first day we got here, my mom said that Chase was like failing, his body was failing him. And so when we got to Greece at like 8 o'clock, we went to sleep because we were so jet lagged and we wanted to wake up in the morning. And then I couldn't go back to sleep after that. Like I was on and off because like I've been dealing with a lot lately. And by the time I went to bed at like 5 a.m., Chase had been put down and Chase was like the best dog. It's only my first day here and I'm trying really hard to enjoy my family and enjoy being here but it's just so hard because I feel like I'm constantly being like knocked down and especially since I wasn't there it was like even harder because I wasn't there to like pet him or like console him and he was surrounded by my dad and my mom and I cried all night I didn't think there were tears left in my body because I'd been crying all week so I think this is the first time I've ever vlogged on camera, but I just wanted to explain why I'm not like so happy and chipper to be in Greece, which I was. Because I felt like I could breathe. I just wish I could have been there for Chase. So he, well, the vet and my mom believed that he had prostate cancer and it had been under control for a while. And two Christmases ago, the vet told my mom, like, look, like it's not, it's not looking good for him. Like prepare to say you're good to say your goodbyes and then he like stuck it out and he survived like two more years and then all of a sudden he just his body just like gave out on him and my mom and dad think that he waited for my sister and i'd be gone so he didn't have, so we didn't have to see that or it's just like i want to sleep until everything's okay but I'm gonna do my best to enjoy my time here and not think about like everything that's wrong right now. They're having a funeral this weekend at a pet cemetery and we won't be there, but like the day I get back, I'm gonna go visit him. It's just gonna be so weird, like walking through the door and not seeing him on his spot on his couch. Or like these past two weeks have been the hardest two weeks of my life and I haven't let on on camera because I don't want you guys to see like me upset. But these past two weeks have been the hardest two weeks of my life. And Chase into it, like, <sighs> Bentley was my dog, but Chase was, like, so special. Sorry for crying and starting the video off like this. I hope that the rest of the videos are happy and fun and positive and you guys will get to see Greece and where I'm from. For those asking, no, I wasn't born here, but I it's home to me because this is where my family is, like, my Greek side of my family. I'm so happy to be here and so lucky to be here, and it just sucks that everything is kind of crowded and clouded, <laughs> crowded, clouded by what's been going on in my life, so I'm not good at blocking things out. My sister is. Okay, so I'm going to show you this cute bikini top that I got at Forever 21 on sale. I don't know how I'm going to show you. see these are my boobs i'm a 34d so that answers any questions but we're just getting ready to go to the beach hopefully my fat pool will be coming to the beach and it's saturday so he probably won't be you know like comes on sundays <laughs> can you tell the story of our last game again our last name is of dallas which derives from the Turkish word semdas, which is somebody who falls in love a lot more easily. That's it. Kind of this But it kind of like makes sense because like I'm a hopeless romantic by nature. Hi Papu! Hi Papu! What's your boat called, Maria? 
Make a picture. Oh, okay. And I'm going to send pictures to Daddy. To say okay, we are ready. Only film it. We are ready to go for fishing. <laughs> How are you enjoying your day, Tony? It's good. It's very windy. We've had a rough couple of days, but it's on the up and up. There's Tony. Now we are waiting at the Stavlo. More All olives? Trees, yes, are new. This fine yard here mm -hmm. has uh, more than, I think, 20 types of grape. Oh, wow. This uh, changes the quality of the wine. Tony. Ow! Are you putting this tomato? Mm -hmm. Ow! Obviously not. It's a pomegranate. We found the lemon tree. They look almost ready. It's pretty shady over here. It must be sunny in the morning. I think this one's ready. I don't know. I'm not a lemon expert. So. It is Saturday night and we got home pretty late from the beach and we ended up visiting. When you're Greek and you're from a small island, you end up meeting like a new relative every day. Oh my gosh, my like self tan, it looks like I have some sort of awful disease. When you're from a small island, like <laughs> you meet a new relative every day and that's why I feel like it'd be very dangerous to like hook up with people. Obviously I don't hook up with people. I just feel like if you hook up with people on a small island, like you might wake up next to your cousin. So that always freaks me out a little bit because literally today we are going to land that my dad and my sister and I have in, um, in like the countryside and this woman comes running out we end up going to her house because my cousin knew her and I met my 96 year old papu's my papu's great aunt who's 96 years old and my papu is 78 so we they were feeding us like cucumbers and everything so I'm exhausted I'm so tired I just showered and it felt so good and I just want to say now that I've kind of collected myself a little bit more Thank you all so much for your kind words and letters and messages and tweets and Instagrams about Chase. I am heartbroken because I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. One of my regrets is like when, that's why I feel like right now I'm just trying to live in the moment and soak up as much time with my family as I can because when I left, like I just said, bye Chase, love you. Like I didn't go hug him or pet him. And I just, because my mindset, the the 12 days before we left for Greece, that was just a mess. So when I was leaving, I just didn't think. Um, but my mom and dad think that he waited until we left for to to start showing signs that he was wasn't well. Tonight we are out. Oh my god. Um, and he is how old? How many years older than me are you? How old are you? Nineteen. Six years older than her. Am I gonna be in one of your videos? No, we're just having mojitos, but we have an early morning, so we're not gonna get too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a lightweight, so I'm like, this is gonna be. I feel like I've had a lot. Yeah. Tony is tomorrow morning Apella. Mm -hmm. Apella was voted number one best beach, right? In Europe. So oh. I've never been, but we're very excited. We're taking a boat excursion. I'm excited to jump off the boat. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to be in the video? Everybody in the video. Okay, I'll turn around. Tony, say hi. Hi, Manoli. Hi. And this is Mary. Hi. She's a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> we all finished our. Has everyone done their mojitos? Yeah. Yes. Is that me? <laughs> To the boat to go on a boat trip today. Tony, are you excited to be going on a boat trip? Very excited. We're vlogging for the YouTube channel. <laughs> we should put our hair up before we leave. Manoli. Manoli wants to sit. Ow. So we are on the boat now, and my phone has no more memory because I filmed so much yesterday. And it's so bumpy. 
Simfono no sale. Tony, what do you think? It's so blue. It looks like a pool. This is, you know, yeah, see, this is you the see church, church up yeah. there. That's where from all the photos. Come closer. <laughs> We're at the beach now and there's all mountains around. And when you're in the ocean, it's just like incredible. It's really not that cold when you go in. No. No. <laughs> Everybody that I'm seeing going in, they're like. Mm. Yeah, at first it's cold, and once you go in, it's just all nice. Did you say the name of the beach on your YouTube thing? Oh no. It's called it's... Apella. Okay, Apella. So pretty much, it's just yeah. <laughs> Because if it rains, you have somewhere to go. <laughs> this is the beach. I don't want. I want to show them what it looks like, but I don't want to go in the water with it. Like is that waterproof? No. Uh, no but it's so clear. We're at Cato Lago Beach. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us why that the uh, this part of the island has trees? Because it's on the northern part of the island, and I guess it's cooler here. All right. <laughs> That's and, nice. Uh, <laughs> I think we get here by boat. Show them the beach. Okay, so this is Catalato.